In this video, I will show you joins in a talent. First, we're going to look at what joins are possible to implement. Then we're going to look at the sample data that we're going to use. And then we're obviously going to implement this with a small example in a talent. The types of joins and that we're going to use are the NC standard joins, which is cross join, left auto join, right auto join, inner join, and full join, plus the self join, which is a non standard one, but we're going to uh, use a inner join to implement a self join. So let's head over to our data set. Here we have two really simple tables an employee table with some last names and department IDs. You can already see here one has an all. And then a really simple a department table with a department ID and a department name. And also here, if you observe, also the last line has no employee assigned to it. That's the data we're going to use for the example. So let's head over to talent. I already get an empty job open. And besides this, I get a database connection in my metadata. And for this database connection, I already retrieved the definition of those two tables. So I can use them directly with a drag and drop and convert them to DB input each. All right, and this one here goes to the left and this one to the top. Why? Because this would be the left side of our join and this would be the lookup for the moment. The join will be done in a tmap component and the output will go in our case to the console, although it could be any other uh, output uh, target. All right, the output for the console should be in table mode, so it's easier to read. And now we connect the components respectively, first in this one, then in the departments, and then here we have to give a name. So I call that join click OK and here we will now uh, define the respective joins. So I open the Tmap Editor by clicking, double clicking on its icon. First I want to do a cross join. So from the main input here, which is the one called row one, I drag and drop this two into the output. Then let's make the output larger and take the other two ones and insert them below that. That's all we have to do for the cross join. We propagate the changes because this output did not have any schema before and we can run the job to see the result. Here you can see it's six rows of employees, four of departments and the respective output here. You can verify on the console, for example, each employee has uh, the respective departments uh, joined to it. All right, that's for the cross join. Now the left outer join, how to do this in talent. First of all, we get to look for the column that we have here that we can match to any column here in the lookup, which is this one, the department ID. So just drag and drop this to the corresponding column in your lookup. And now you have to make sure here in team up settings that you use in the correct type of join, which is left out to join. And this is OK in our case. I can click OK and execute the job. And we could see that also our six employees are going to the output to the console. All right, that's it for the left outer join. And the next type is just changing this one here to inner join. So we're going to look at how the inner join works. That's the only change we have to make. And we can see that there is now one row less because the employee that did not have a department does not occur here anymore. And there's a really cool feature how to identify those rejects. And those and that are not resolved by the inner join here that I will show you at the end. Okay, but now let's go ahead and again look at, at this one here. And now we had inner join here, right? Now the next one would be to do a right outer join. Uh, this is achieved in talent by doing a left outer join, but with reversed input order. What do I mean? This one here has to become lookup, and this one here has to become a main. So I can right click here and set this connection as main. 
let me move that around a little bit so it looks nicer just as before okay this way is fine and now we go back to our mapping we have to connect those uh, two columns again that have the corresponding identifier and here it's again okay to have left outer join with the reversed input order we are now creating a right outer join so we can run this and you see the respective result one more thing we could do here if this is desired is instead of unique match we could take all matches why because uh, from our lookup we have uh, several entries uh, for some uh, departments right which would here be uh, for engineering or clerical but not necessarily in in this case all right and that's the right outer join now the full outer join in talent is done by doing a left outer join and a right outer join and then getting rid of the duplicates to see it in uh, brief words so how can we do that just copy and paste in this uh, sub job here and move it uh, further down again here do what we had before by setting this connection as main right and let me move this stuff here around a little bit so to get it closer and to have a nicer view of the things and then here we recreate basically what we already had or we at least check it we got this connection department id which is fine and we should have instead of an in join a left outer join here which would then again really be the left outer join right so this one here is now the left outer join and this is the right outer join uh, up to here we can execute this again and we will see the respective results on the console which seems to be fine right because here we have the marketing apartment where no employee is assigned and here we have Williams the employee where no department is assigned to all right that's fine so far now we get to put in this data together we're going to use t unite component it works just by taking inputs of the same structure and uh, bringing them together so we connect this one and the other one now it has an error here as you can see it says no schema defined yet we get rid of this easily by syncing uh, columns here and now we use a unique row component uh, to get rid of the duplicated uh, values uh, simply here what we have to do is only one setting is we select all the combination of all our columns to be a key attribute right now we also need a more one more logo output here be uh, after this sorry <laughs> um, no I just wanted to move this component it's now a bit weird here right now <laughs> because I moved basically everything around and but not this thing I wanted so let me just do that again okay uh, sorry for this okay copy and paste and uh, this is better usually it should be in the first run that it's okay now we connect in this one here and we also have a logo output for the final output and so we can deactivate in the, those two and rerun the job we can still see the amount of process data here it's six and six in some it's 12 but after eliminating the duplicates you can see it's seven what do we have here now we have the ones that are uh, in the inner join which are in those ones here and then we have from the right outer join and this department and from in the left outer join and uh, this employee all right and that's uh, all the nc standard joins the five types that we wanted to look at now the last thing i wanted to show you here is the self join the self join we're going to do here in form of a inner join so i open this tmap component to show you exactly what i'm doing 
I'm getting some employee data, which is similar to what we already have, right? Each employee has a ID name and a respective manager ID. And this respective manager ID points to the ID column here. So this is also how I did the uh, lookup uh, definition here by pointing to amp.manager ID for the ID column here. So this is the person I find then here with this lookup is the uh, manager of the respective employee. So I output in the uh, manager ID, the manager name, and then the employee ID, employee name here in, in this way. And as I said before, is it's, it, it is an inner join and I click OK to just leave in the mapping. And what am I doing above here? As I wrote in this uh, small note here, I'm generating the sample data. All right, so we will also see the input on the console. And after writing this data to the console, we will also put that in memory because then down here, we're using tbuffer input. We will read that again twice to do what I just shown you in a tmap. Okay, so enough get, uh, of uh, talking. Let's execute in this process. You will see the respective result. Here we have uh, some relief where we have a null and a zero, right? Those two specifically. And here is the self-joined, inner joined uh, data that we respectively get. Okay, that's so far so good. And I promised you one small little cool trick that you can do here in Talent, which is by, let me first copy this component and place it here again, by obtaining the inner join rejects. Okay, so let me also call that uh, join reject in order to distinguish it from this other output here. And he will create a new output. Also, we call this join reject and click OK. And now the schema of the target component to get this one here is OK, because here we already uh, copied in the schema the four columns that were in this uh, component already. And now we can go back to our tmap. We had have this additional output, but no connections yet to any of the columns on the left hand side. So first we can use here this auto map option. And uh, no, I renamed all the fields so I can't use it, sorry. Uh, but we can uh, still assign the corresponding values to this. So I take the uh, employee ID, the employee name here, then the ID here for this one and the name here uh, for this one, right? It should have the same connections as the output above. And now for this to only capture the rejects as we already mentioned here in the name, we have to go here to tmap settings and set this option to true, which says catch lookup inner join reject. So let's do this. Select this one, okay, and also click okay here. And now we see when we re-execute in this process, we have three console outputs, right? And the first is the original data. Now we get two nulls here and one zero. So they are going to this output and we can see the corresponding employees here. Maybe the manager ID in some other cases would make sense to say, okay, uh, maybe there is a manager for some employees, which is a zero or an, another uh, not valid value. But that's it for the uh, self and join part as well. If you liked what you've seen, you can maybe learn more about uh, talent. Uh, I got a course created, which is more than seven hours long and with video and with a complete uh, project. And you can find that in English and Spanish and in uh, German uh, under the corresponding URLs showing here, which is bit.ly slash talent uh, dash data dash en for English, bit.ly talent data es for Spanish and de at the end for uh, Germany. All right, so 
Hope you liked it. Don't forget to look at the course and also like and subscribe and see you in the next video.